What's going on, y'all? Oscarox here with another update. I'm going to do a little update that uh, I haven't actually ever done before, and it is a tournament report. Um, I just got back from my first Battle Roads. Um, pretty exciting just because, like, uh, I've, I've been to cities and stuff, and I said I was going to do, like, a report after that, but I didn't. Um, so I'm just going to do this to um, just kind of let you know what decks are out there right now, um, what's going on, what's winning, and... Uh, and just share with you my, my Battle Roads experience. I had a really good day. Um, I'm not going to give you the final score until I'm done talking about my matches. Um, I've seen uh, the Cat's Meowth or Computer 3 and CSU do this before. Uh, and I, I love her her videos about uh, tournament updates. Just because they're, they're really cool. Just to see like what it's like to go a day um, battling people. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go through my deck list first what I ran. Uh, I ran Ezekiel's deck um, with Raikou. Um, a little different than some, a little similar to others. Um, but yeah, so I ran uh, a four, a four line of Tynamo, uh, the Dark Explorers and the Noble Victories 40 HPs, and then two of the Free Retreat Noble Victories 30 HPs. Uh, these actually came back to bite me at one point, um, which you'll hear about later. So I think I'm going to actually just be switching over to the all 40 HPs. And then the Eels, 3 electric, a 4-3 line, which is perfect. 2 Zekrom, I've got well, the promo one, and then this is the next Destiny's one. 2 Smeargle. First, I was reluctant on running two. I think it was the right choice. Never ran into any problems with um, having two in my hand or anything like that. So, two Smeargle's good. Two Raikou. Um, every now and then, I realized that two was too much, and it was changing between a, a Zekrom electric deck or a Raikou electric deck. So. I would only run one in a Zekrom Electric deck, um, but I think I'm going to be switching to a Raikou Eels deck, so we'll have to see about that. And then just one Mewtwo EX. Um, mainly because these are hard to get, <laughs> and I couldn't get my hands on another one, um, but it was all I really needed. Mewtwo was amazing for me today, so we'll go about that later. So that was my Pokemon line. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 Pokemon. Pretty standard. Then, for my supporters, I ran 3 Juniper. Uh, 3 Pont, Professor Oaks Theory. Uh, essential for refreshing your hand. And the Junipers were to get some lightning in the discard and uh, fresh hands as well. And then 2 Sage. Those are the only supporters I need. With Smeargle, you can look at your opponent's hand and get some supporters and use them as well as any of these. So, really good to have Smeargle in this deck. Um, so, Sages uh, were just kind of throw-ins in case I was in a tight spot. I ran four Dual Ball, uh, which are essential. I did flip a couple uh, Double Tails, so that sucked. But, these are good. Level Balls, uh, I ran three mainly to get electrics, um, or if I was really unlucky, for Smeargle. 3 switch, which I also thought was too many at one point, but worked out perfect for me. It wasn't too many. 2 catcher, this is the one I need more of. Uh, 3 catcher would have probably been great, but I only had 2, so put me in some tight spots. And then 2 Skyro essential in this deck to get um, Smeargle, switch out, and attack. Two plus power. Uh, one max potion, which <laughs> is amazing, and I will get to that in my last match. One Eevee Light for Zekrom. One Super Rod, uh, just in case I needed to get stuff back. And then... Uh... Pretty sure I had, yeah, that's what I thought. Got stuck in my energy. Four junk arm. 
uh, you always gotta max out junk arms because you'll always need to get another catcher back or to get a dual ball if you fail for, cat for junk arm is essential and then my energy line was a bit extensive and I was really scared about having 15 energy but it worked out just great rescue energy I found using either on Raikou or Zekrom I never needed that on anyone else Prism Energy, um, just to not have to always discard all electric on Raikou. Uh, 4 DCE, good on Mewtwo or Zekrom. And then the rest are Lightning. And then one Reverse, because that's all I have. So that was my deck list. Okay. Oh, sorry. Drop the camera. Anyways, um, let me just go back through this. Uh, oh, here they are. I was like, where are the Pokemon? <laughs> so that was my deck list. So now I'm going to go into my matches. Um, and this will probably take a while to talk about. Um, but anyways, let's get on with round one. Round one, I was up against this girl. I think her name was Caroline, I'm not sure, oh, no, 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 Sh Charlotte, Charlotte was her name, and it was a mirror match of Zekiel's, um, I was feeling a little confident with my opening hand, I had everything I needed, um, but I think I started only Smeargle, uh, and that was it, um, anyway, she and me first, first turn, I got pretty much nothing, Got like a junk arm catcher, blah 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 blah. Never drew any supporters. This this game lasted about maybe eight or nine turns, um, and it was just me stalling, trying to get something out. I got nothing out. Uh, I think I took one prize only, and uh, she finished me off pretty quickly. Um, that was disappointing. That was round one with Charlotte. Um, I pretty much just blocked that one out of my mind because. That went really terribly. Um, round two. So I was 0-1 up to this point. And round two, I never got his name, but he was running some crazy deck. It was like, uh, let me tell you, it was the Umbreon, the Dark Explorers one, Espeon Prime, a um, bunch of Eevees. I just remember the Eevees. I think there was some... I don't remember what else, but it was a crazy deck. Anyways, I got set up really fast. Um, so I, I put Eevee Light on Zekrom, was hitting 120 every turn, knocking everything out every turn with only 20 damage. Uh, I took, I think he took one prize only. Uh, no, I don't, I don't, actually he didn't take a single prize. Uh, I, t I stayed with the same Zekrom the whole game. Um, there was a point where it had too much damage on him, so I switched out to another Zekrom and finished off with him. So, uh, that game went really well. There was a point where he had a Zekrom EX out. Uh, and Zekrom EX, I think, has... Hold on, let me check real quick, because I have one right here. Yeah, 180 HP. So I was a little worried he would set him up, but he only got one energy on him. Never put any more, so two turns to knock him out, uh... Took two prizes, took a final prize on a, an Umbreon, and that was it. Six prizes. Relatively uh, quiet game. That went really well. And then round three. Round three. I was one and one, and I went up against my good friend, uh, Will. Who, surprisingly, well, not really surprisingly, he wins a lot. Went on to win Battle Roads today. <laughs> um, anyway, so Will was playing a Dark Rai Tornadus deck. Tornado CX. Um, immediately I thought, dang, this is going to kind of stick. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm ahead of myself by one round. Um, so I was one and one, and I went up against, I think his name was Jose. I honestly don't remember, but he had a Dark Ride deck too. Um, turn one, he goes first. He gets an Ascension Zora, evolves into Zorark, passes. Uh, my turn, I pull out Zekrom, Smeargle. Uh, I think I went into his, uh, I think I used a pont on my Smeargle, and, uh, man, <laughs> it went bad for him. He evolved into, Zek into Zoroark turn one, never took out another basic. 
Um, it took about two turns for me to power up Zekrom with enough energy. Went out there, 120 bolt strike, done. That was it. It was a three turn donk, pretty much. Uh, that was unfortunate for him. I was okay with that. Wins are wins. <laughs> Uh, that was my mentality today after losing my first one early. Um, and I knew he had a dark ride deck. Like, I had I had seen it before, so I was kind of worried about that. I hadn't gone up against any dark ride yet um, in playtesting or anything, so I was kind of worried. Um, but it worked out perfect. Uh, finished him off early. I think we ended up just trading for the rest of the time because we finished real early. Um... But yeah, that's how that one went. So then, so I was 2-1. and one. I was feeling pretty good. I was like, okay, as long as I don't face any crazy, you know, dark ride decks, I think I'll be alright. So I faced my friend Will, who went on to win the Battle Roads. Like I said, we were both 2-1, and one, and I was like, oh, crap. Um, Will's won a bunch of Battle Roads. He was third at Nationals or something ridiculous like that. So he's pretty amazing at the trading card game. Um... Our game went on forever, but I didn't take a single prize. Um, I'm telling you, it was probably like a 20-minute game. Um, pretty much he had a turn one Darkrai and Smeargle, and I was like, crap. And I had a turn one Smeargle and, uh, what did I have? Zekrom. Uh, I powered up Zekrom pretty quickly, um, put a bunch of damage on his dark rye. But um I mean that that was pretty much it. He, he he got double heads on dual ball. Got out more more dark rise. So it just got difficult. Um you can't take take out that many dark rise uh with just Zekroms. Um so I got out my Mewtwo uh Probably not not very quickly. Probably like about turn six, and powered him up with a bunch of energy. Um, but it still wasn't enough to knock out Dark Rise in one turn because he had like the dark dark patches and stuff. What I, that doesn't mean anything. Um, what did he have? I don't know. I couldn't. It was not enough to to knock him out. Um, but once I finally did knock out, no, I didn't knock him out. He switched out to another Dark Rise. So a, a dark guy was sitting on the bench with like 140 damage. Another one with like 110 damage. I just needed to get a catcher to bring them up and put some momentum in my way. Um, no catchers ever came. And then, so my Mewtwo was sitting there powered up with about... It had a DCE and then like two uh, lightning energy. Um, and then so he gets out a, a Mewtwo. D DCE uh, X-Balls me. And pretty much, like, I lost it there. So. Anyway, Mewtwo's kind of weird. Bad lighting. Um, so I was 2-2. Two and two. I was pretty... I mean, I pretty much knew I was going to lose against Will. Like like I said, he's amazing. I wasn't expecting to do anything against him. Um, so then, I'm 2-2. Two and two, And I, I, I come up with this guy. I don't remember his name either. Um, yeah, I do. His name was Juan. Uh, J U A N Juan. He had a Reshi board deck, which I haven't seen since like last cities. Um, but man, he had some trouble there. Okay, so he starts Reshiram, I start Zekrom. I'm like, oh, Dragon Wars. <laughs> um, I get two heads off of two dual balls. Um, I have some Tynamos out. Um, get some Electrics out turn two, and Zekrom's powered up completely. Um, I use a pl no. I outrage turn one, get some damage on Reshiram. Turn two, knock him out with Bolt Strike, pretty much. Like that's how quick it went. Then he pulls out Darumakas. Um, <laughs> he gets a turn four Embor, I think. Um, I'm telling you, he just had little basics. So I was just Eviolite, Bolt Striking, Bolt Striking, Bolt Striking. Um, I'd, I'd finish him off in about five five or six turns. Uh, that deck just had no speed. Uh, the rush, There was only one Embor out, so he only got to power up his Rush Ram once, which wasn't enough to kill Zekrom. It actually let me use Outrage a couple times because I had about 100 damage on him um, because of the Eviolite. Took off 20. 
uh, from the 120 attack that Reshiram has. So, I mean, I was just... Zachram was just beasting that round. He was just like, ah, 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 just knocking everything out in his path. So I was three and two, which was cool. Uh, and then I went to my final match, which was against <laughs> probably the craziest guy I've ever met. Uh, I don't remember his name, but uh, he was just this funny guy who was just having a great time. He had shifty eyes. He was messing with me the whole time. Uh, he was just having a good time, but he was playing... Uh, Terrakian? No, 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 no. Donphan Prime and Groudon and Zorark. That's what his deck was. <laughs> Guys, this is ridiculous. So, he mulligans probably six times. So, I've already milled through some of my deck. Like, I had a 11, 12 card hand, like, before turn one even started. Um, so, obviously, that means I'm going to set up pretty quick. Um, however,. I started Mewtwo. <laughs> that was my only basic. Um, as I drew, like, for the mulligans, I got a few Tynamo um, and a couple level ball. So by turn two, I'm Mewtwo, DCE at the front, one, t like, two electric and a Zekrom. The electrics, I mean, are these guys, like, right here. And, uh, but, but you don't understand, like, Mewtwo was not doing anything, because he was an attaching energy, so I was just X-balling 20 at a time. I retreated and brought up Zekrom, but Zekrom's uh, resistance, like, well, Donphan's resistance to Zekrom, plus Rocky Helmets, plus, like, Exoskeleton, his body, um, like, I was just not knocking stuff out. Um, it was just a difficult matchup, but... Um, Anyway, so he starts getting some some energy on his guys. So I bring up Mewtwo again after he's been dynamoted a few times. And he's, like, pulling out with, like, two to three, like, plus powers. Like, I junk arm for my plus power twice at one point just to knock out one Dawn fan. Um, finally did it. Uh, the, the Groudon was no problem to knock out at all. It took about two turns, I think. Um, so I got two more prizes there. I'm sitting at two prizes to his about five left, um, but I don't know what happened, this game took about 35-40 minutes, it came down to time by the judges, I had one prize left to his like three or four, but like he was stalling so hard, and like he was saying it, like he was like, <laughs> I'm just stalling, I was like, is this deck ever gonna move, like it wasn't doing anything, um, so, by the last couple turns, I can't knock out these Dawn fans, like, with my Zekroms. Like, I just can't. Like, it was ridiculous. And, um... So then he starts taking the cheap prizes. He starts going after my Smeargle, and after my Electrics, and we're pretty much down, like... I think it was three prizes to my one left. And so I... <laughs> Mewtwo's still sitting on my bench. He never knocked out my Mewtwo. And it had 160 damage. Um, when it was in the active spot. So I was like, dang, something bad's about to happen. Max potion. All the energy are gone, but like he was at complete health, so I was like, beauty. So I retreat him with a switch. I've got about four cards left in my deck. Um, as I put him back down, I use the last dynamotors I can, attach a couple DCE. He had about like six energy on him. Um, but it's still, like, I don't know what was going on. But I finally knocked out the last Dawn fan for the game. The judge was like, alright, game, good time, it's over. Blah, blah, blah. Finally got it. Finished 4-2 and two today. Um, we only had about 36 players, so there wasn't a, a bigger top cut. It was only a 4-player top cut. But I did finish top 10 or something, so that was awesome. But, like, that last, that last battle like just drained me. Uh, it was ridiculous, but Mewtwo saved me, and the whole time I was thinking, he kept laughing, and I was like, what is going on? I was thinking he was going to drop a Mewtwo, DCE, all the energy I had on him was going to be like 800 damage on my Mewtwo, just knock me out, but never happened. So happy. 4 and 2, that was good. Uh, I know some, some things I need to change in my deck, um, so I'm going to do that for sure. But yeah, that was my battle roads. Finished four and two, uh, much better than my cities, which I think I went like 
two and four or something. But anyways, I got some packs for it. Well, not because of finishing there. Like, I just bought some after. But anyways, I'm going to show you the pulls now. I honestly don't really remember what I pulled, so let's find out right now together. No EX, I'm just letting you know now. Okay, we got a Torchic, Zorua, Clink, Eevee, Vanalite, Twist Mountain Supporter. I never saw any of this in play today. Uh, Electric, Chatop, which has awesome artwork. Oh yeah, I remember this. Carnivine, which is a rare reverse, which is nice. And a Haxorus Hollow, which I didn't have. So that's amazing. And the Hollows look a lot better in this set than they do any other black and white set. Okay. So let's open this one. Okay, so we got Ducklet on that little bridge where um, you find them in the game. It's awesome. What was that thing called? Sky Arrow Bridge. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it's called in the game, but that's what it remembers, reminds me of. 48 feet Tynamo, which I'm going to need. Ponyard. Carablast. Drillbur. Crustle. Jolteon. Amazing. Love Jolteon. Juniper. That's real good. A Girder Reverse, which is just an uncommon. And a Heatmore. Um, <laughs> a bunch of my friends and I were, were talking about playing some Durant decks tomorrow at the next... Dang, that is miscut horribly. Y'all see that? This is like a huge border and this is a tiny border. We were talking about playing Durant decks tomorrow. Um, Durant de Why can't I finish what I'm saying? Durant decks tomorrow at the next Battle Roads. And we're all going to play Heat Moors in our decks just to finish each other off. But I doubt we're going to do that. Anyways. Final pack. We got Ascension Zorua, which is good. Focus. I want it focus. Okay. Diplop. A 40 HP Tynamo. Good. Lilypup. Chansey. Another Juniper, which is awesome. Ivysaur. And a Charon. Awesome, too. Really like the artwork on that with the little Tepig sleeping. Is that the, that's the Sky Arrow Bridge in the background? Awesome. Jolteon Reverse. I love Jolteon. And a Kafagrigus. So, well, oh yeah, I was going to show y'all things I traded for today. <clears throat> Don't think I got too much out of this, um, but I did get some stuff. So, check it out. These were from different trades, uh, <clears throat> which I got through the mail. Just a Flygon EX and a Sneasel EX, which is nice. More Raikus I got. An English one and a Japanese one, first edition. So I was happy to get that. Uh, none of that's new. I got <laughs> some Durants to build the deck. Got this Suicune from Neo Revelations, too. That was nice. I got Terrakion and Cobalion. I traded my full art Terrakion today. I don't remember for what. <laughs> I think it was for that that Raikou actually. Uh, what else? Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's all I got. I was just excited to show the Japanese. What's his name? Raikou. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. That is, if you're still watching, uh, my Battle Roads uh, tournament report. Hope you found that fun. Uh, anyways, the winning deck. By my friend Will was a Darkrai Tornado CX deck, <clears throat> and the second place deck was actually a uh, a trend that evolved today. Uh, decks that haven't been played for a little bit. Um, CMT has has been pretty popular, but it was a Celebi Mewtwo Tornado deck in second place. Um, but actually, we saw a bunch of like old decks playing. Um, like I said, I played a Reshibor, my second or fourth round. I don't remember which one I told you. Um, someone, one of my friends lost to a, a Mew Yen Mega deck. That hasn't been seen since, like, cities or regionals last year. Like, just old, old stuff. Um, anyways, Empoleon decks are big right now. 
uh, they're actually working. They're they're really working. Empoleon and uh, Empoleon and what? And Terrakion. They're actually kind of working. Uh, my friend Rudy uh, finished, I think, four. Okay, so he was five and one, I think, or four. No, four and two. He finished four and two also. He had an Empoleon deck. Um. Obviously, the Zekiel's decks are still big. Uh, we are seeing some weird Lilligant decks come up. Apparently, one did really good at the States in Florida, and this girl was running it today, and it worked for her. Lilligant with, like, Vic Fliptini, and uh, just weird stuff. But anyways, uh, we'll have maybe another update uh, for different Battle Roads. That is, if I win. Sorry I don't have a Victory Cup today, but that is my goal, to get a Victory Cup. And uh, maybe Raikou will be the one leading me to it next time. So... Thank you guys so much for watching, and I uh, hope you found this informative. Hey, look, my, you can kind of see my camera in me. Hey! Hey! I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.